All right, back for our pat whatever this is going to be. Last time I forgot to talk to the puffy log here. I wasn't an expert on dogs, but I thought that this black thoroughbred dog was a Klatchian hound, also known as the Kalef Klatchani. Small, proud, and ruthless. The Kalef Klatchani were prized by dog breeders throughout the Circle Sea. What this one was doing out on the streets was anyone's guess. I thought about petting the dog, but there was something about the way he looked that made me think twice, maybe even three times about it. Oh, something that people like to say? Don't pet me. I'm a person, not a pet. The door into the guild has a hatch on it. I guess they didn't have an open door policy. I uh, just like my uh, company commander. Hello? Open up. All right, all right. Hold on. What do you want? Can I come in? Are you a member? No. Then, no. This is members only. I gotta kinda go to this conversation too. Did a few clues to come up. You only allow members into the guild? That's what I said. I wasn't kidding. Stick your member what through the slot for a great big surprise. Your plumbing? What do you mean? I mean, do you let the plumbers in to fix the problem? Yes, we do. Are they members of the guild? No, we sign them in. Yeah. Uh, just remember that happened to the last two plumbers that came here. Oh, by the way, I had uh, talked over Luton. Um, yeah, stick your member right here for a great big surprise. You'll be sitting down to pee for the rest of your life. If you signed me in, I could come in, right? That's right. Then what do I have to do to get you to sign me in? There's nothing you can do that'll make me sign you in. I just don't like you. You don't like me? What kind of excuse is that? It's the truth. How else can I get in? Find another guild member to sign you in or become a guild member. Great. So I have to wait around here for a guild member willing to sign me in to turn up. Don't hold your breath. Mm. Oh no, go ahead, hold your breath. It's like airplane too, that one scene William Shatner walking through the hallway. How do I become a member then? You need to find a member of the guild to endorse you. Never mind. I can spot a lost cause when I see one. Oh boy, gotta pause the recording. Gotta poop again. Unpause. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I don't think it was the Arby's I had yesterday. I do wish this had hit me yesterday, earlier in the morning. How to go to the doctor yesterday afternoon. And uh, get stuff like my uh, diabetes checked out and blood pressure and stuff like that. Yeah. I know, uh, blood pressure was just a bit, on the, it's a bit on the high side, but I'm doing, doing following doctor's advice, taking drugs and stuff like that, so it's good. Good enough. Okay. Uh, what was I up to? Oh, that's right, I just talked to the watchman. I might know that the, the warehouse is now darkened. I, uh, let's see, I, I'll just talk to the your archaeologist and I gotta go here. In the meantime, I was actually watching a video about SCSI drives and the history of it on Retrobrite. It's pretty interesting. I remember when I was first started uh, doing computers about over 20 years ago. Everybody was talking SCSI this and SCSI that. Buy SCSI, invest in SCSI, do everything SCSI. Yeah. That worked out to a... Why is she working down? Why is it looking down now? She should be looking up.
Let's see, bring up the V-Magic Mirror. Streaming, calibrate position, nap shield. Oh, I see. There it goes. Okay. So she, for what a reason, eventually did, I had a, I did, it was, um, oh, my God. Oh, I'm not going to bring this up. All right, yeah, I agree with the scene loot stand here out there in the middle of the cafe for no reason, but uh, on the V-Magic Mirror, on the face uh, tab, or sub tab, or whatever, let's look at Ian Weather's mouse. And I guess, yeah, the last time Leslie, she saw the mouse. Oh, she's still looking at the mouse. Interesting. You know, I might just keep this. Look at me. So she's kind of like looking right at the screen away. Then there's none where she kind of puts her head straight out. By the way, you might also note that her tail's wagging around quite a bit here. Oh! Oh, oh, day coke, gaffing free. Yeah. I was outstanding from soda pop there for quite a while. You know, so her tail is moving around. Well, in this version of April, I have not put through the Unity uh, bone lead transfer tool. So her tail will move around for head. Some ale, Mr. Luton. Uh, that's what I was looking for. Apparently, some of the cargo on the Milka was delivered here. That's right. The Milka always brings us a supply of Ephibian wine. Where is it now? Most of it is still in the wine cellar. We sell some of it on. Who to? Lots of different people. I have a box of receipts in the cellar if you're interested. Sure, I'll give you the key. <laughs> Oh, yeah, Phoebe and wine goes right to my head. I don't know what the first the song goes, or I've heard it a thousand times on the radio. One of my favorite radio stations is out Bob FM. It's a classic rock station. Classic rock. The Eagle, again, you're saying, um, uh, what? Jack, Dillo Inventory, classic rock, as in uh, the rock and roll songs I listened to as a kid in the 80s and 90s. Here, we have a number of the crowbar. All right, which one of these keys? Oh, here we go. Years ago, it would have been my dream to stand in the Café Ankh's wine cellar. So many barrels of fine wine. Even Chateau Hector, Year of the Weevil. My favorite vintage. I used to dream of Ilsa, too, from time to time. So when I walked in to find Ilsa there, I had to check I wasn't wearing my pajamas. Or that very stain had appeared on the front of the pajamas. My ex-lover Ilsa and her companion two conquerors were hiding out from the Assassin's Guild in the wine cellar. Hello again, Ilsa. I can see I'm going to have to get used to finding you where I least expect. You didn't say goodbye at the casino. What happened to you? We got away thanks to you. It was nothing. It wasn't nothing. You saved our lives, Luton. Lulu, is that you? What's up with him? He's delirious. He's no, no, Yuri Kasaki. Let me have a look at his wound. He'll be fine. He needs a chance to rest, that's all. He fades in and out a little, but he'll be okay. What happened? It was Remora. He's been following us. He won't quit. He's an assassin. It's his job. Once they've been paid, the target is as good as dead. They never renege on a contract. They throw great soirees as well. And if they invite you, they won't take no for an answer. That's not much comfort. Well, at least you know if an assassin kills you, you're not going to be killed by some thug. They're very efficient at it. Practice makes perfect, you might say. 
I was going to be an assassin once. What happened? The usual. Forces outside my control. It is you, from Casino. You save our life. We to be in your debt. I guess you to be just that. We need your help, Luton. Haven't I done enough for you? I know it's a lot to ask after. What happened? Women. It's never enough for you, is it? Please. You have to find us somewhere safe to hide. Why? Why should I do that for you? Why should I do anything for you? Not for what happened, Luton. For what we had. Once. We had a dream. Trouble is, I woke up and I could still remember it. Does he know about us? Two conquers? No. I never told him. Why not? He's my husband. You're married? I always was. Even when I met you. Why didn't you tell me? It's not as simple as that. I met two conquers in Ikalpon. It was on a secret dig for the Sun Emperor and we fell in love. I thought the Agateans weren't supposed to know about the outside world. That's true. But the outside world isn't supposed to know about the Agatean Empire either. Trouble is, centuries ago, their empire spread beyond the counterweight continent, and there's archaeological evidence for the strange and charmed Quack dynasties all along the Turnwise Ocean coast. The Sun Emperor sent two conquers out to cover up the evidence. This doesn't explain why you didn't tell me you were married when we met. Two conquers went back to the Agatean Empire, and I stayed behind. He wasn't sure I'd be safe there as an outsider. I... I didn't think I'd ever see him again. He might as well have died. I almost died too, until I met you. Great. I was your number two husband. You don't understand, Luton. I didn't love two conquers. I mean, I was infatuated with him, and he needed me. I was nothing before I met him. He gave me a purpose. He gave me a life. Oh, that's good. Because he took mine. At least his accounts will balance. He came back, didn't he? That's why you left me. Yes. I got a letter from him saying that the government had been overthrown and the Empire was a new world. I wanted to tell you, but I didn't think you'd understand. At least you got that right. So, you're Mrs. Ilsa Conkers. No, I kept my maiden name. Our marriage was supposed to be a secret. So you've been traveling with two conquers for quite a while now. Yes, we've been making our way around the Circle Sea. There have been several digs. And everything you find goes back to the Agatean Empire. No, not now. There's no point. Most of it comes here to Ankh Morpork. We give it to the Guild of Archaeologists, Antiquarians and Tomb Evacuators. They have quite a collection of artifacts. That's it? You spend your life digging up junk that no one ever sees? We're looking for something. Something two conquers wants to take back to the Agatean Empire. What is it? A jewel. Jewel. Find the jewel, yes? Tell me about this jewel. Gold-plated jewel. Very old. I thought the Agatean Empire had plenty of gold. Special artifact. Gold to be making it come from Agatean Empire. Stolen by one of your gods. Great fortune to Empire if it can be returned to us. How will you know if you found it? Gold-plated jewel not common. This jewel be having inscription. Unquam paratas. It means forever ready. You don't even know if this jewel actually exists, do you? We've just come from a dig in Sorta. It's a village near the ruins of the ancient city of Sort. We found inscriptions there of many artifacts, including this jewel. It exists, all right. We just haven't been able to find it. <laughs> If all these inscriptions were in Sorta, what are you doing here in Ankh Morpork? That's just it. The inscriptions claim that the jewel is here in Ankh Morpork. Apparently, after the fall of Sort, the jewel was held by monks in the village of Sorta. But over four centuries, the Knights of the Order of the Sacred Tulip went out on quests to find it. Why? They were knights. They went on foolish quests all the time. It was a knight thing. I think all the different orders competed to outdo each other in foolishness. I heard the Knights of the Fairly Pink Triangle spent two centuries looking for a better name. And you think one of the knights found it? Apparently. The inscription said he took it to Ankh Morpork, there to guard it forever. Forever? You know these ancient inscriptions. They have a tendency to exaggerate everything. It probably meant nearly forever.
I had to figure out the smelly stuff. Like, uh, they need a hiding place. So I gotta figure out how to get them, get that quest going. You two must know about a lot of ancient artifacts. Of course. Why do you ask? Ever heard of a golden sword? Golden sword? You have to be being more precise. Must be 50 golden sword artifacts in Agatian Empire alone. But then they do have a lot of gold. That's why they call it the Orient. <laughs> yeah, even back in this day when I first played this like over 20 years ago, I was kind of annoyed with the accent. But it, it's not terrible. I know it's like somebody in England, the white guy in England doing the accent, yes. Harmless. I know, even hey, but Bob and Tom, they don't do the Godzilla bit anymore with the accents. That was super annoying. Just super annoying. But they've done it a couple of times and dumped. I really like that. Though I shout at the radio when I go and like, uh, what's your name there, Japanese tourist? Um, 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 um yeah, it, it, it's okay to play a character, it, it, it's okay. I'm not really a, uh, the guy who's doing the voice here and typing on the computer and stuff like that with the microphone. It is not actually a bug anthropomorphic female fox. It's a dude. A rather unpleasant looking dude. Who oh, no, that people would rather look at a bug anthropomorphic female fox in a trench coat. <laughs> um, that's okay. Um, I've been watching anime most of my life now. I'm okay with Monica Rial playing a Japanese character. I'm okay with Jamie Marchie playing a Japanese character. I'm okay with Chris Pratt and Greg Ayers. Um... Lucy Christian, Brittany Karboski, as Daihia Moon. I'm okay with all of that. It's not a bad thing. What's a bad thing is babbling all around this during a game instead of just playing the game. Do you know anything about the crate belonging to the Von Uberwalds that was on the Milka? I don't think we can help you with that. Well, you might be able to help me with this. I'm trying to track some of the cargo on the Milka. A set of crates that were supposed to belong to a Varberg. That's me, Ilsa Varberg. You never told me your name was Varberg. Names weren't that important to us back then, if you remember. I guess not. So the crates are yours? Mine and two conkers, yes. They should be at the Guild of Archaeologists by now. What was in them? Artifacts from the dig in Sorta. Nothing valuable, except in the historical sense. I need to get to them. I can get you into the Guild if you want, but it'll cost you. What do you want? Find us somewhere safe to hide two conkers. He's not safe while Remora is looking for him. That's true. But nowhere in the city is going to be safe. You'll have to find somewhere that no one would even think of looking for him. It'd take a miracle to conceal two conkers, and the patrician has outlawed miracles. That's my price. If you hide two conkers, I'll sign you into the guild. You'll never get in there without me. I'll do what I can. That's all I can do. That's all I ask. If I find somewhere to hide him, you'll take me to the crates? I'll get you into the guild, but you're on your own after that. That's my offer. Take it or leave it. I'll take it. And like you went on here, I just got a couple messages come in. What the hell? Uh, where are my glasses at? Everybody's messaging me at once now. Okay. Oh, that's the, uh, the mechanic at work telling me that my their piece of equipment's been fixed. Cool. Ha. Cool. Gale. 
Yeah, the other one's uh, from the customer telling me I need to check in on their app. That was like from yesterday, I think. All right, yeah. <laughs> Do I, 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 whenever the phone beeps off, I gotta check it and make sure something might be something important. All right, hiding, please. Just like Samael had told me, there was a box of receipts in the cellar. I rooted carefully through the receipts, and the only recent purchaser was the patrician. It seems he'd bought a number of barrels of fine wine to take to the palace. I guess the golem I'd seen at the cafe was owned by Lord Veterinary. Oh, let me check in on... Yeah, so, so let me do this earlier. I'm doing it right this time. Uh, let me try something else first. Hiding place. So I went up in, in and out of Leonard's right lab under before. the patrician's nose. It was just crazy enough to work. Ilsa wanted that was trying to get that dang clue back, but I was looking down again. Why is that? Ugh. Oh. oh, there it is. Yeah, I had the uh, mouse off screen. Shoo seems to be tracking it quite a bit. Let's say should let's see if I move I down. Well see there is moving her down up there. No, she's most okay, good, because there's moving her down on my desktop and then moving her down. Looks like up. There's a piece of. Yeah, see, uh, I have this split on two screen of her screen on top and then screen is right directly in my eye, light, eye, so, eye, eye line. It seems to be working better. I just shrug sometimes like that. It's kind of weird. See there. All right. I'm tracking my mouse around the disc growth screen, around the React OS screen. So now she's looking up mostly. There. Okay. I kind of prefer able to not be on my. Um... What is this thing called again? Death bar. But if I put the mouse kind of way, way up there, then bring it down, that just kind of looks like she's, from my view, it looks like she's kind of sort of tracking the mouse there. Okay, I can get that here. Uh, so I'm going to skip these two. <laughs> Go to the, uh... Don't tell my heart, like Jinky, Anky, Brinky heart. I've done it. I've found somewhere to hide him. Where? Where no one would even think about looking. Somewhere that only the patrician and I know exists, I reckon. The patrician and you? What if the patrician finds two conkers there? Two conkers should be able to hide without too much difficulty. Besides, I have a feeling that if Lord Veterinary meets two conquers, he'll have a different take on this situation. He doesn't like to see useful people get killed. Besides, I am sure this is the only place in Ankh-Morpork that he'll be safe from Remora. Is it okay to move him? He should be okay. To be feeling much better in thankings. Sure he's not still delirious? Sometimes I wonder. Let's go. Hello again, Leonard. Hello. I'm afraid I had to go back to the drawing tablet with the spinning blades radiating from Central Hub. It was too heavy. The device flew all right, but only in a downward trajectory. That is looking like some kind of fluttering machinery. Uh, yes, I call it a flapping wing flying device, but it isn't working yet. May I take a look? Be my guest. 
Are you to be considering the increasings of the wingtitude? The span of the wings? I considered it, but the weight is still the problem. What if you be using bombastic wood for the frame? It hadn't occurred to me that two conquerors would have any practical skills. But I guess you didn't carry out complex excavations without learning a thing or two about engineering. I left him to get to know Leonard and hooked up with Ilsa. She had a deal to keep. With two conquerors safely hidden away, Ilsa kept her word. She took me straight to the guild and signed me in as her personal guest. Well, that was okay. I, I had the offer. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, I like that. It's a little bit better. But now she's looking down at it constantly. There. Uh, yeah, she doesn't want to look up now. Or look at me. So. Um. There, okay. All right, back to where I'm supposed to be. Laredo Cronk, the upwardly <laughs> nubile I... tomb evacuated. Well, that was dumb. The focus of the fantasies of a thousand post-pubescent adolescents. I had to admit there was something about her. Okay, bro, grab the, uh, there, see. Yeah, that was, that was dumb. That was incredibly, I thought I was closing the settings when done when I'm not. It was only a small bookcase, but it might have something interesting on its shelves. You mustn't touch that. I wasn't an expert. But I was pretty sure the hinged book was a switch of some kind. Family that type me to save this just in case, because I've never. Yeah. Okay, I'm saved. Stuff in my other hand. Honestly, you're like a little child. Leave it alone. Honestly, you're like a little child. Leave it alone. Alright, it's been about almost 30 minutes, time to...